Here's a big problem with WordPress. If I go to WordPress and copy the URL of a YouTube video and paste it in WordPress, it embeds the YouTube video. Perfect, right? You don't have to worry about embedding or do taking care of anything else and it automatically does the job. But if I just go here and actually copy the entire playlist, you see this playlist has 241 videos. Now if I copy the entire URL here and go to YouTube or no, sorry, go to WordPress and paste it here, you'll see it just paste the last or the first video that's in the playlist and you see the block also says a YouTube video. And if you go to the, even the front of the website, you'll just see this one video, not the actual playlist. That's a huge problem. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve that problem with WordPress. Because in this video, we're gonna learn how to embed YouTube playlists and the best way to embed YouTube playlists inside WordPress. Let's go. So to embed YouTube playlists inside our WordPress website, we need to use a plugin. And the only plugin that I found that gives you the most control when it comes to embedding YouTube playlists inside WordPress is by Smash Balloon. And they're a, a company dedicated to creating products to embed your social media feeds into your WordPress website. So they have plugins for Facebook feed, Instagram feed, Twitter, YouTube, which we'll be using, TikTok feed, reviews feed, and social feed. Now, you can buy the entire bundle at a ridiculously low price, or you can just pick the plugin that you like. All of these plugins are quite affordable. I've already made a purchase, so I'm gonna just go show you how to install this plugin on the website directly inside WordPress, and then I'm gonna show you how to configure it and how to add playlists on your site. So let's go to our website first. Let's just uh, discard this. Let's leave it here and go to plugins and go to install plugins and go to add new plugin. Now, this is where I'll go and click upload plugin. Now, what you'll need to do is go here on the site, make sure to check out the features, make sure to check out the pricing, make a purchase, and then inside your account, you see this my account feature? Once you add made the purchase and you have, uh, let's say it shows up in your account, there you can go to downloads and you can find the download link and also the API key, not the API key, but the license key for the product. So you can download the plugin here and you can have this API, or not the API key, the license key, which you'll need to activate your account or uh, using this plugin. So once that is done, once you click this download button, a zip file will be downloaded to your computer. That is the file we need to install on our WordPress website. So I'll take a pause. I'll wait for a second, pause the video here so that you can go and make a purchase if you're interested. And then we'll resume the video and we'll show you how to install that plugin on your website. So hopefully you've made the purchase or if you just want to first see how the plugin performs, then you can just follow along this video right now or watch this video and then go and make a purchase. So going back to our WordPress website first, once again, we'll go to the plugin section, add new plugin, and I'm going to click upload plugin, which will give me the option to upload plugin files. So I'll drag the zip file directly from my computer here. I'll paste it here. Let go. You'll see the name here, YouTube feed. I'll click install now. So once the plugin is installed, it'll take a couple of minutes or maybe 15, 20 seconds to activate. Well, click activate and it'll activate the plugin as well. And now the plugin is activated and you see all these settings here. So what we'll do is we'll go uh, first into the settings and activate the plugin by entering the license key. So you can see that your license key is inactive. Please add the license key. So I'll go to settings here. And inside the settings, I have the option of adding the entire license key, which you can go inside your account from here and copy and paste. So I'll go here, I already have it on my clipboard. So I'll just copy it and paste it here and I'll click activate. Now, once this is done, your plugin is activated. Now to get feed from YouTube directly or the data from YouTube directly, you need to create a YouTube API key as well. And don't worry, it's easy, it's free. I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. It just takes a couple of minutes. Using the API is important because then your plugin or this Smash Plume plugin can directly connect to YouTube via the backend and get feed updates as well. So let's say for example, you have 50 videos, you add that as a feed on your website, you add three more videos to the playlist, automatically all the feeds that you've created on your site will be updated without you having to manually do anything. That's why the API key is important. So what I'll recommend, you go to the Google Cloud Console. I'll link it in the description of this video and also on the screen. And this is what it will look like. Now you see, I already have this playlist uh, project created because I was testing this out. But what you should do it, whatever interface you see, just click here and then you can have this button show up on the screen, new project. So you'll create a new project and just name the project something like, hey, YouTube playlist. And I'll just name it two because I've already created the one and you can see the project ID exists and it won't be changed. And organization is because I'm logged into my organization account. That's why you see the organization here. Otherwise you can keep it at no organization and even the location can be anything you like. It's not something that you need to uh, change often or even pay attention often. And you don't need to pay for this service as well. So once this is done, just click the create button and this will create a new uh, 
project on your Google Cloud Console. And once the loading and everything happens, you'll see this uh, switch happening here, and which you will see that, hey, select this project now. So now you'll switch to this new project. So now what we'll need to do is create a new API key. So I'll just search here, navigation menu, API and services, I'll go to enabled API and services. And inside this, most of the time where I say, yeah, no APIs since we have just created this project, it'll show up that, hey, no APIs are enabled. So what we'll do is click enable API and services and we'll select YouTube here because that's what we are interested in. So I'll just search for YouTube and you'll see a few different options. You'll need to select the YouTube data API v3. This is the API which is required to fetch data from YouTube directly. So once you see this, just click this icon here, click this link here and just go to enable. And this will enable this particular API on this particular project on this particular account. Very simple, right? So once this is done, it'll take a couple of seconds for it to update. And once this is done, we just have to do one last step. And you can just follow along, even if you don't understand it, just have to follow the tutorial and it'll be done. So once this is done, we'll just click this button called create credentials. Because even though the API is enabled, we need still need to have a like a key or a password to use this API. So we'll click create credentials and this will create a new API key. So make sure to use the user uh, public data, sorry, not the user data, click the public data option here because we are accessing publicly available data on YouTube. Click the next button and this will create an API key. I'll obviously blur it on the screen for obvious reasons because I don't want the key to be uh, publicly visible. But all you need to do is just click the copy to clipboard icon and I'll just paste it on notepad somewhere here. And then you go back. Once this is done, you can just click done and you're done. You don't have to touch Google Cloud Console anymore and you don't have to ever log in again if you don't want to. Go back to settings here. And from this, we have we added license key here. We'll add the API key here. So I'll copy it once again from my clipboard and I'll copy it here. I'll click add. And now the API key is added as well. Now your plugin is completely set up to embed a YouTube playlist and create new feeds. So what we'll do is we'll go to all feeds here. I'll click the all feeds button and now you can create a new feed. So think of feed as a, like a way to organize your playlist in any format you like. You can have multiple variations so that you can use different feeds on different areas of your website. So let's say if you have a sidebar on your website, you want to have a feed embedded there. Maybe you have a footer, you want to have a feed embedded there. Maybe on the end of the post, you want to have a feed embedded there. So anytime you want to create a specific kind of, let's say, visual representation of a playlist, you can create a new feed and then decide which posts and pages get those feeds. So it's a very well organized way of uh, creating feeds on YouTube or for YouTube playlists. So I'll click the add new button here. And now we have a few options. What kind of feed do you want? Do you want all videos from a channel to be displayed as a feed? Do you want a playlist, which we'll do? Do you want search results to appear as a feed? Do you want live streams to appear in a feed? You want a single curated list of videos so you can just manually enter, hey, 10, 10 of these videos, or you don't want a social wall from different social media platforms. Of course, you, I, I, I'm pretty much guessing that you'll need uh, other plugins from Social Balloon to or Smash Balloon to pull this off, but we'll go with playlist here and click the next button because we are trying to embed a playlist inside WordPress. Once this is done, we need to enter the playlist ID. Now, what I'm do, gonna do is go back to this video here. Now. Pay attention, this is a playlist and what I'm gonna do is blow up the URL of the playlist here or whatever the browser is showing up on the screen. And it's it's it, it's it, the URL says HTTPS YouTube.com watch question mark V equals to and list equal to. So the last part is the important part, list equal to and whatever the code is after list equal to is what we need to copy. So I'm just gonna double click here and it will automatically select that portion. I'm gonna copy it. And once again, I'm gonna paste it off the screen on a notepad here, just to keep it safe. So that's the part you need, the list ID, which is the playlist ID. Once that is copied, you can go back here and just enter the playlist ID here. And this can be from any channel. This doesn't have to be your channel. All playlist data is publicly accessible and available. So you can just enter any playlist ID here. Once this is done, just click the next button. And now you have an option to customize the playlist feed as well. So you have the default feed, carousel, cards, lists, galleries, latest videos, widgets, all kinds of things. You can customize this later as well. So I'll stick with the default one for now. Click the next button. And this will start 
uh, give me the option of customizing my feed. So it says, hey, embedding the feed. When you're just customizing, you can add this to any page or post on your site. So I'll click this, I'll close this for now. Now this is giving you a live preview of how your website or how the YouTube playlist on your page will look like. So you have load more button, you click this and more videos will be loaded. You have the subscribe button below every video, subscribe button here and how it looks like. Now this is where the power of this plugin comes into play. You can completely customize how the playlist looks like. So if I go to the template options here, you see I click here and now I can change the template once again. So I can have this as a carousel and cards. Let's try and switch to cards and see how it works. I'll click update and now we have a card view. So you can see every single video is inside a card. I think I like this one, so I'll keep it. So inside the feed layout option, I have grid, I have gallery. So one video and a gallery and the rest of the videos below it. You have lists. So you have all these videos a list or you have a carousel. So again, you can completely customize how your videos look like. Then how many columns? On desktop, if you say four, it'll show four. If you say two, it will show two. And on mobile phones, you can customize this as well. And how many videos to show initially? So let's say if I do six, then I'll just load first six videos on the screen, then it will show the load more button. You can see a live preview here. What's the spacing between the videos? It's customized. You can even go back to the video styles tab and customize everything about the video. So card type boxed or regular, I'll change it and you'll see a visual representation happening on the screen. So if I have box, I can change the background color, I can change the border radius. If I just do this, you'll see a rounded corner appear. Just notice this edge. And this is very similar to how YouTube does it now. YouTube has rounded corners everywhere. So you can have this option appear and customize the feed as well. So you have all these styles. Now, if I go here again, I can go into the template or color scheme and layouts. So we were inside the feed layout, I believe. So if you go here, you can edit individual elements. So what should uh, appear inside individual elements in the videos? So you see right now the description is showing up when I hover over the elements. So we can disable this. So let's say if I disable the play icon, the play icon goes away. I can take away the video title. I can take away the username. I can uh, take the live stream away. I can take the date away. So now the feed is completely customized based on what I like. So if I go back to videos, now I can go this, and I think it was a hover thing we need to customize. So on the, on the hover state, we want the video title to appear. We don't want the description to appear. And now, oh, it's a little bit of a bug, I believe. But yeah, it still works. In my previous testing, this was working fine. We can keep it to username or anything we like. So the idea being that anything that you see here in the feed can be completely customized according to how you want the playlist to appear. Then you also have the video player experience. So you, when you click on a video, how does it appear? So you should have a subscribe link. What's the background like? What's the call to action like? Every single thing is completely customizable. And then if you go to the feed layout, I think we already did see the feed layout. You have the color scheme options. So if you wanna have a dark theme, you can select the dark theme, you can have a custom theme, or you can have an edit from your website theme as well. So everything is completely customizable. Then inside the sections, you can enable the header. So I can disable the header here. I can change what the header says, what should be the header text like, size, colors, every single thing. I don't think we like this or I like the header. I'll just label it. Then inside the videos, you have video styles, which we already uh, kind of discussed. Then you have the load more button. You can enable this. If you just want to show the first X number of videos, which we customize, you can disable it. And then users will just see those first videos and you can change this just to, hey, uh, see more videos so you can instantly customize this what's the background color like so i'll just change this to red something like this typical of how youtube does it red color and that is done hover state is you can select what hover colors like so every single thing you saw here is completely customizable so i just i'll change the youtube subscribe link button as well and more in line with youtube so the idea being that whatever you see in the playlist what is shown how it's shown when it's shown and how it's shown everything is customizable and that's the power of using a plugin like this rather than figuring out a code based solution because you don't get to customize your feed entirely so once this is done you can click save button and this feed will be saved now if you go back to all feeds then you'll see this is just the one feed that we created you can create one two three four five ten different feeds to add to different areas of your website so if i go back here there are few ways to now actually feed on an actual post or some actual place on your website so there are a few different ways if you click the embed button here this will give you the short code to copy and paste it any area that you like or you can add it to a page manually or add it to a widget based area that's completely fine if i go back to all feeds you'll see the short code also appears here so i'll just copy the short code i'll go to posts here I'll create a new post on the site and let's say I'll just name it YouTube feed here for an example.
And I think it also acts, this plugin also adds a new block. So let me just see if I can find the block. Otherwise, we'll just use a short code here. So we have feeds for YouTube. Okay, I'll just click on it. So now the feeds for YouTube is already appearing. So now I can just have the short code uh, added here and then it will be customized. Right now, we just have the one playlist created, so it's showing up. So this is one way to embed it, but I believe if we add the short code, it should also work. So let's try the short code too. I haven't tried this myself. Short code, and I'll just add the short code here. And let's publish this post and we'll see this live directly. Let's open this up. And yes, it does show up and I can do the show more things and it'll keep showing me more on more videos on my site. Now, I believe I think I prefer the regular approach because uh, it will give you a visual representation of the website on how the or the feed will look like. So I'll just delete this and I'll just type in YouTube once again. And you have a new block for YouTube, which is feeds for YouTube. This was not a default WordPress block. This is added by Smash Balloon. So once we do this, now you have again the shortcut setting. So if you have more than one feed you can go back and just change the feed id uh, to something else right now we just have the one so it's showing up here but let's say if i do feed equals two then it will just give me an error probably because there is no feed two so now you see it's showing empty areas here right once i click here again and say one it should show me uh the ideal settings all right let me just delete this and let's apply changes yep now it's working so you get the idea you can create multiple feeds how you can customize the feeds you can configure what data appears how it appears completely customize the look and feel of the videos itself and then embed it on any area of your site you can add them to sidebars right here even the headers, if you like i wouldn't recommend it but headers can work you can add it to a footer of your website as well any place that supports short codes and blocks you can add this youtube feed and as i mentioned or as i demonstrated to you it's completely customizable so you don't have to worry about hey the code is breaking up or how do i customize this how do i show only these videos xyz and that is just one way to add a feed if you go back and i'll just keep this updated and if you go back if you go to all feed section here uh where is it youtube feed all feeds so inside the all feeds option if i click here you have you can just create a feed for a channel feed for live streams feed for single videos feed for search and we just demonstrated the playlist feature which i just demonstrated so it's a very extensive plugin that can do a lot when it comes to embedding multiple or as a collection of videos or playlists on your uh, wordpress website directly from youtube hopefully this video is clear we have done everything uh, that i want to demonstrate in this video i showed you how to embed a youtube video or playlist on your wordpress website by creating a google cloud console api key for youtube and then using smash balloons awesome plugin to embed a youtube feed directly on your wordpress website if you have any questions the comment box is open i answer sing every single one and if you want more wordpress education make sure to subscribe to this channel and you're watching yuvraj from wp beginner i'll catch you in the next video take care